Hey guys, it's me Tara, and today you can call me Yeehaw Yummy. I thought to myself, who doesn't like chocolate milk, right? The fresher the better. So I decided to fly to Kansas and get the milk straight from the booby. Milking a cow is something I've always dreamed to do, and today this girl's dream is finally coming true. My hands are gonna be milking, and I'm gonna bring it home and make some chocolate milk as fresh as I can. Every cow milker needs a trusty, dusty partner, so I have a dusty partner. Hey, man. Bought it like a back road. I can see my eyes closed. I know every turn like the back of your head. As most of you know, I don't eat meat, so I'm really excited to go hang out with my equals. I've never seen an otter up close, so I hope it's big, pink, and fluffy. I hope it feels like a stress ball of some sort. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm making this up or if it's just a stigma that all cows are named Betsy. Did I make that up? Smells like cows. Oh my god, this is so bad for my asthma. That's the smell of nature, baby. Better get used to it. it smells like cow crap. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> you look so dumb. Oh my god. Okay, now what? Oh, hey guys. Are they hot? Oh. Cats kind of freak me out. I think I'm a little allergic to cats because, like, I get sneezy around them. They're just hanging out. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Hey, we're cats kind of freak me out a little bit. We're waiting on the guy to give us a go. His name is Jason. I think he's a farmer. He just came out though, and he was like, "You guys must be the California YouTubers," and that makes me nervous because why does he know so much about me already? Wait, that cat is actually so cute. It just dug, and it's I think it's peeing. Look at that cat. They're so smart. He just told us we could go look at the baby calves. Now I think that's oh my god, there's a bug right there. I think that's a secret code word for baby cows. You know I can make a really good chicken noise? It's not good. You guys may not be able to hear it because we're mic'd up, but the cows are literally mooing. They're like, Hey guys! They're scared of you, Jake. Hi chickens, my name's Jay. Is it eating its own poo? What do cows eat, hay? Yeah! When oh my hear... god, there's a huge bug in your hair. Look at that. Oh, it's a spider! It's a spider! Get it! It's a spider. It was like a yellow spider. I'm gonna go set myself on fire. Your dad is cuddling a cat, and it has a bunch of cats around him. Cats are so fragile. I'm scared to even touch them. It's rubbing up against me. So, I was born and raised in Kansas, but I actually live in California now. But I'm back on a visiting trip right now, and just wanted to get to know y'all. Are you conversating with the calves? This is crazy. I've never been on like a farm like this. Look at them. They're huge. Drink more water. You look really cute when you do it. I can't believe these tiny little things become those ginormos. <laughs> I'm like kind of scared. I'm a vegetarian too. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. It's hot as balls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I'm Jason, I'm the farmer here at Grazing Plains Farm, and uh, we milk about 75 cows. The cow's gnawing on your hand. Is that normal? <laughs> That's normal, they're hungry. <laughs> you wanna milk a cow, I understand. I wanna milk a cow. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat meat or anything. Well, I can respect that. I love animals too, and that's why I'm a, a, a dairy farmer. Guys, when Jason said this, I literally wanted to cry. It made my heart melt. Aww. These babies, they'll be with me for, um, they'll live a long life, they'll live 10 years, and. And I, these are the milk cows here, and I know all of them by by name and all of their personalities. And cows are just great, interesting animals. So. Let's go milk a cow. Oh, okay. She's always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to milk a cow. Is it their boobs? Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I could say I'm a lactation specialist. <laughs> hey, right, there we go. Each cow has their specific side, a specific kind of milking. Each cow wants to be milked. We get the first couple squirts of milk out. Slosh on some sanitizer dip and dry her off. Tara, I'll let you then try to get a couple squirts of okay, milk is, out. Is there a certain way to do it? So I think of it like a balloon. Pinch up top and then you kind of work your way on down. Can you get in there? Just get on in there. Oh Marika, my God. Marika's not gonna hurt you. It's a lot harder than it looks. That's what most people say. How did you do that? I'm just pinching it with my thumb, although my hands are about three times as big as yours. Oh, I there did it. Marika, I'm milking you. Oh squeeze, my God. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> I literally thought you guys just sat all day and did this. Oh, there's a chicken in here. Is that normal? 
Yeah, that's, <laughs> unfortunately, that's normal. This is awesome. Do you want to try another cow? Sure. Sally up front. Sally? She's... What's her name? Oh, my word. Chris, who's this? Who is that? This cracks me up because he was trying to identify her by her udders, not by the way she looks, like by her eyes or colors, but by her udders. That's Sally. Sally's Hi. a nice old cow. I'm gonna milk ya. Sally, I'm milking her. Oh my God, that was an experience. Have you ever tried it like straight from the other? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Do you want to try some? A little bit, yeah. I've never tried this, this trick before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so warm. I just got sprayed with titty milk. It was awesome. Here we go. I'm gonna ask Jason what we came here for. Fresh booby milk to make chocolate milk. I'm nervous. Is there a way we can get a fresh cup of booby milk from the cow so I can make my dream come true of making fresh chocolate milk? I suppose we probably could. Fresh milk straight from the cows. You can feel it's still warm. Wow. Yep. You just pumped this. Just that, uh, yep, yep. Raw milk ungrated. Yep. You can't get sick, right? You can get sick from any food. I grew up on it, I've never got sick from it. And if you aren't comfortable with drinking raw milk, you just heat it up to you boil 100, it, right? 145 degrees for 30 minutes and you're pasteurized. I'm excited to make my chocolate milk dreams come true. Are you guys dying of heat? We're in LA, it's like 104 there. They're, they're butterflies doing yeah. their thing. Oh my God, they're having <laughs> Yeah. On me? Yes. <laughs> butterflies are having <laughs> on me? They're banging on you, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, you're like a breeding ground. Oh my God, what is going on here? That's Sweetie Belle. Sweetie Belle? Sweetie Belle's a weird cat. Okay, girl, let's keep moving. Ooh, that's oh, yeah. stinky. Ah, ah, bugs, what does a normal day in your life look like? So, alarm goes off at 4.20. A.M.? <laughs> A.M., milk the cows in the morning, feed the cows, get the kids ready for wherever they're going during the day. My day usually ends around 7 or 8 p.m. I get up at like 10.30. <laughs> What do you do in your free time? What's free time? We, we dream of that. We, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, wife and I are lucky. We, we sit down on the couch and maybe check out whatever's on Prime or... This is my guilty, uh, my guilty pleasure. Jenna Fisher and... Um, yeah, Angela, Angela Kitty, did you listen to the podcast? I, li I listen to... No uh, Office, <laughs> Office Ladies is the best podcast. It's all I listen to. It drops every uh, Thursday and I just listen to my... <laughs> show I this love week. it. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that, but No, yeah. don't be, it's I, an amazing I, podcast. I always want to write them and say, do you know you have a 41-year-old Kansas dairy farmer who listened to your podcast? You should. <laughs> You're done with the office girl, office ladies, and on to the cow peeing. Yeah, I mean, it's a little distracting. It's like a waterfall. Here's that one just like army crawled in its own crap. Yeah, they, they're gross. This right? is so silly that this cat is just following us. Yeah, she's weird. My hand kind of smells like poo. <laughs> I can't believe this is your every day. It sounds like fun. I would I would switch you for a day. This is clean? No. Why are there goldfish in here? To eat the moss and kind of be natural cleaners. Oh, of the that's water. kinda cool. You do need to drink water out of a out of a hose. What? If you're gonna be on a farm. Do people do that? I wanna drink too first. <sighs> you could just drink from it? <laughs> oh boy. How do you stop a donkey? They're coming straight at us. Uh, you're okay, girls. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Uh, I'm gonna be chasing donkeys all over the community. Honestly, I didn't think it would be as fun as it was. This is amazing that this is his daily life. And we were kind of talking about switching lives for a day and he just like could not imagine being in my position as a YouTuber in LA. And I could not imagine waking about four in the morning every day and milking cows every day and just selling milk. I really appreciated all the interesting facts he gave me about how he's a big animal rights person and he doesn't like this big farming stuff. So he's owned this farm for a long time, like five generations. And I just think it's so beautiful and this is getting really deep, but I milked some cow boobies today and it was awesome. All right, thank you, Jason. Yeah. I would like to buy some milk so I can make my chocolate milk and Absolutely. also the best cheese you recommend. Okay, let's go in the okay. store. I love cheese, wow. Give that a try and then you wanna grab some milk as well? Yes, goodbye, Jason. Goodbye, thanks thank for coming so out Thank you so much farm. for letting me milk your cows. You're welcome. <laughs> Three days later, here we are. The milk's in the fridge.
of hard work, it being in the fridge, chocolate milk from scratch, you guys, from the udders themselves. My dream of making chocolate milk from scratch is coming true right now. But the question is, will it be good? Comment down below right now. Pause this video, no cheating. You guys cannot skip forward to me trying this. Comment down below if you guys think this will be better or a regular old chocolate milk, because I think it's better from scratch. And you know, we gotta get the milk mustache. Honest to God, it's better. The milk tastes milkier, not in a gross way. I know people don't like cow's milk, I know this. But it tastes like, it tastes like home. Aww. The fact that I saw this get milked really makes me feel like I'm drinking it from the booby. I like it. <laughs> it's very comforting, but that's probably because it's a little warm. Thank you guys so much for joining me while I came all the way to Kansas to watch a cow get milked, touch udders, produce milk, meet Jason, and make chocolate milk from scratch. If you guys want to see more of my Kansas adventures, go on my Instagram. I posted some there. I just want to thank Jason again for showing me Grazing Plains. Guys, go support him. The link to his website and his Instagram are going to be in the description. It's time to skedaddle. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,